My name is Dave Simon, and welcome to Kids Around the World, a YouTube show that features kids from all over our planet coming together to play music. Today on the show, we're going to hear some amazing featured living room concerts. The big highlight there is a performance of 37 kids from Brooklyn, New York, coming together to play one song. It's, it's an amazing production. And also, Kira, who was on the show last week, she's from Ontario, Canada. We're going to bring her back out this week for an interview. She wrote and performed the song Corona Time which is obviously all about what's going on in the world right now. And it's really nice to be able to sit down with her and hear her story. And she's going to play the whole song for you. But first, let's hear from viewers like you. I'm Reba Nye and I'm from Pittsburgh. Johnny, I live in Stony Point, New York, and I take guitar lessons with guitarhelper.net slash Brian Murphy. I'm from Kitchen, Ontario in Canada. I played the piano at Fiona's music studio. My name is Griff. I live in Cardiff, Wales. I play guitar with your song, School of Music. Mia. I live in Louisville, Kentucky in the United States. I play the guitar at Kentucky Arts Academy. Hi, I'm Arjun. I'm from London, England. I learned from the G4 Guitar School. I'm going to play guitar for you today. My name is Katie and I live in Los Angeles, California, USA. I sing for the LA Vocal Academy. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. And now it is time for our featured living room performances. Today we're going to hear from Hira, who lives in Johannesburg, South Africa. Hira is going to play some piano for us all. And then Sean, also a piano, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania in the United States. He's gonna play some very cool boogie woogie piano playing. Just great energy, can't wait to share this with you guys. And then Isabel from Los Angeles, California, here in the US will um, play some ukulele and sing a beautiful song. And last, we're gonna hear from 37 kids. They all go to um, the same music school, Echo City in Brooklyn, New York. And they are going to put on a massive production for you. So sit back and enjoy. There's just no time to
And now it is time for our featured guest today, Kira from Ontario, Canada. She wrote and performed the song Corona Time last week on the show and really thought it'd be nice to hear more of the song and have a sit down conversation with her. So let's hop on over to my interview with Kara. Huh. But let's hold on. Hold on one second. Yeah, the screen stuck. It, it won't, it's not sliding over. Oh, really? Just, just grab it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Right, here we go. Okay, well, my special guest today is Kira. Some of you might recognize her from her song that she performed on the show last week. Kara, welcome to the show. Hi. Well, I am... Um, I've got a lot of questions because I'm so intrigued about this song, but why don't you share with um, the viewers um, where you live and where you go um, where, and where you take music lessons. Um, I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. I take music at U-Rock Music School. Now, not everybody knows where Ontario is. So what country are you in too? Canada. <laughs> is there something that Canadians say? Are there any expressions that you use that you know Americans don't use or any words? I mean, some people say A a lot. You're right. Do you ever say that? Um, not very often. <laughs> now, do people, like, I don't hear a Canadian accent, but do you have, is there a little touch of a Canadian accent? I don't know. I don't normally hear it, but that's probably because I'm around Canadians almost all the time. <laughs> and um, now, do you speak French at all? Yes, I've been doing French since kindergarten, actually. And um, do you, but you don't speak French in the home, do you? Um, no, because no one else in my family speaks French. But how, if, if you were, um, now where is it, is it Montreal where they pretty much speak French on the streets? Yeah. Quebec mostly, yeah. Oh, Quebec. So could you go to Quebec and carry on a conversation in French with somebody? Yes, normally when we, my family goes to Quebec, I have to do all the talking because none of them understand it. Okay, so can you say this in French? Now I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> can you say, my name's Kira, um, I play the guitar. And I love to sing. Can you say that in French? Bonjour, mon nom est uh, Kira. Je joue la guitare et je adore de um, chanter. I give you an A plus on that. That was really good. So, um, and where? So, how long have you been um, playing guitar? Um, I've been playing for I think about three. I started playing I think when I was like twelve. So, like about two, two and a half years. Okay. And um, how did you pick? guitar did you always gravitate towards that instrument um well my uncle is a bass player so i kind of just like always like was near that and i guess i kind of just liked music so i decided to get a guitar <laughs> and, and, it, and have you and your uncle ever played together um no not normally because he's normally out like with other bands doing his thing so <laughs> is your is your uncle's name getty lee no it's, you know who that is no, I do not know who that is. Is your mom in the room with you? Um, no, she's just out there. Okay, when she pops in, you ask her if she knows who Getty Lee is. Because okay. he is a Canadian oh, rock really? star. You got to know, know, know Getty Lee. Um, but, but your uncle definitely knows who, who he is. Yeah. Um, okay, and then how did you get into to songwriting? Um, well, I like to sing, and I went to do a, um, like, singing thing and I ended up going into a band at my music school so then I started playing a lot more music and ended up like deciding to write my own song and then that started to just go into more writing and um have you written more than the the corona smash hit yes I've written um quite a few of them are on my ukulele because I find that a lot easier to write songs on but I've written about I think like seven or eight songs what do you think of your parents taste in music they're not going to watch this video so you can be honest uh, my mom's is better than my dad's. My dad mostly likes old rock music, which I don't love, but. <laughs> so like, like, who does your dad like? Who's his, one of his favorite artists? He likes Billy Joel a lot. Yeah, and he's an old guy. Your dad's yeah. probably not as old as Billy Joel, though. No. <laughs> um, and who does your mom really like? Uh, she likes Pink. Pink? Yeah. Okay. Pink is, um, she's. The real deal too. She's quite a talented uh, artist, and that's a little bit closer to your generation than yeah. than Billy Joel. Um, well, sorry, Dad, you <laughs> don't, you don't get the vote of of approval, but 
there's probably some hope for your dad. Yeah. Okay, so everyone at home is dying to hear the full <laughs> version of Corona Time because okay. nobody has ever heard it, um, at least who's, who's watched the show. So is there any chance we could twist your arm to perform for us right here now? The sure. whole song? Okay, well, maybe your road manager can fetch you your guitar. Mom, that's your cue. Oh, and there's the guitar. <laughs> and, um, and really quick, for people watching, if there's any guitar players watching, if you can just kind of show everyone um, the, the four chords that you're using. So, yeah, you'll have to lift your guitar up a little bit <laughs> or, or bring the, your camera down. <laughs> so, as you can see, she's got her capo on the fifth fret. And let's see your first chord. Yeah, give it a strum. And that's um, e, e minor, right? Your E minor shape. And this is kind of cool. Check this out. In the open position, it's A minor. So the same chord, but, you know, in the open position. So if you ever can't find your capo, you can pull that out. Okay, what's your next chord? C. Good. And in the open position, it's F which they look a lot alike. So you go yeah. um, E minor to C, and then what's your next chord? It's D. Which is, and you, and you know this, is G major in the open position. And what's your last chord? G. Which is, can you tell the name of that chord I'm playing? I do not know. <laughs> it, it looks like F, but it's actually C. Okay, great. Well, let's hear the whole song. That was great. Um, that's a beautiful song. That's, Thank you. And I think your uncle is going to have to get his bass out and play along with you at some point. Yeah. And like in recording it on on Zoom, it, you know, doesn't doesn't give it justice. Um, okay, so tell us again. Um, what's the name of the studio you take lessons at? Uh, U Rock Music School. U Rock Music School, and where in Ontario? Um, um Ottawa. And you want to say a quick message? You want to send a quick message to your teachers there? I mean, sure. I mean, like, thank you to, like, everyone. Like, Brian helps me fan. Kathy, with voice. Noah did guitar with me for years. Like, thank you for, like, always helping me and believing me with all this stuff. And, like, none of this could have happened without them. So, thanks. <laughs> okay, that was a practice run for when you accept your first Grammy Award. Okay. That was a good run. Okay, you got to you know keep working on that speech because hopefully uh, in a year or so you'll be making that first uh, Grammy Award speech. Well, um, thank you so much for um for being on the show today, and you're a rising star, and I, I can't wait to see and hear more of what you do. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Well, that concludes All right, great. this edition of Kids Around the World. Remember, while you're stuck at home with your moms and your dads and your brothers and your sisters and your dogs and your cats, now's a great time to be creative and to play more music. I'll see you next time on Kids Around the World. Thank you.